Fast Magazine live at the 2009 Radio One Love Cruise. I'm AV from the Yolanda Adams Morning Show. Got my man comedian John Gray Griff to my left. Woo! Out of control. Shanita in the picture, kindest. She's in. She's in here laying low, you doing know what good. It is, man, we've been having such a great time out here. Um, just all the artists. Uh, you know, John and Marcus and Shanita, just, you know, just being funny and doing what we did. That's our ministry. People take our ministry light because we always laugh. And then when we be serious, we can't get no help. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'm yeah. about to fall off the ship. Griff, you crazy. No, for real. I'm about to fall off the ship. Yeah, you guys are crazy. But you guys, you have this aspect that you bring to the One Love Cruise that people need. Because a lot of times people get on cruise and they want to hear music, music, music. But you guys bring the funny. And that's important, man. It's part of your life. Yeah, and, the, and what's even more than that is I don't know how John Gray actually got the dime bags in. Yeah. Because they told us <laughs> don't, don't bring nothing in your suitcase but Bibles and robes and, you know, oil. And how he did that is just amazing, John. Yeah. It's I pretty mean, amazing. John's been on the scene for a long time. I love the hat, first of all. Thank God bless you, you yeah, for that. So does Smokey Norfolk, <laughs> and he wants it back. <laughs> but, man, you know, you have a powerful testimony. You're a minister and a comedian. You're balancing two things at one time. How are you able to do that, man, and man. just keep the fun in, but yet, you know, with a message? I think it's because we're fresh. Yeah. We have the ability to do things that other folk can't do. I mean, you know, when me and Grip come on the scene, people know they're going to get some joy. They're going to get laughter. Um, and... We're necessary. The Bible says no, laughter right. does good like medicine, which yeah. means when we get up, when our gift is submitted to God, somebody can mess around and get healed just laughing. Yeah. We ain't got to pray. They yeah. can laugh a tumor off. Right. So we, you know, like you said, the challenge is, though, being taken seriously yeah. when it's time because, you know, he's a husband, he's a father. He got times when he ain't joking, you know, same for me. Yeah. But on this cruise, we're here to make, make it right. light yeah. and, and bring joy. And it's a lot of these people are helping us bring joy because they're wearing the wrong outfits. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't understand. But you knew when you bought the two piece, it was not it was, appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. But what goes into man just having a good show? Because you guys, you know, it's it's an art what you do. Everybody can't get up the and tell a joke. The hardest thing in the world is to be a comedian. Um, actually, the number one fear on the planet is to speak in front of a live audience, and then number two is death. So people would rather die than speak in front of a live audience. I'm just blessed man I you know God picks and chooses who he wants to give his message out and if we can make it funny and I always my pastor always say Griff they remember a punchline before they remember a Bible verse and I and when he told me that I thought that was so deep so I just figured if I can make the punchline a Bible verse then I get the double win you know what I'm saying yeah, man. hot Griff of course my man John Gray, two of the most powerful comedians right now. What's next for you guys? What do you have coming up? Um, after after I leave here, you know, this is a huge vessel. I'm going to probably start doing Greyhound buses. That's good. I, like, uh, I just like the congregation to everybody, you know, maybe wear that hat. Seriously, um, I just got back from New Zealand um, a couple weeks ago. I was over there three weeks. But I also have a nonprofit organization called Positive Vibes, and we just joined up with the Boys and Girls Club and YMCA of America, and I, I got some great events with a lot of teens. Yeah, John, what's up next for you, man? I started directing my first feature length film in September. I just won an International Film Award for my second film that I directed, $100,000, yeah. and met with DreamWorks. Yeah. And uh, you know, people like Tyler Perry and Bishop Jakes are taking over Hollywood, so I'm mm. next. And uh, my film starts shooting in September. So by this time next year, I'm gonna have glasses on, walking around, not speaking to people. I like, like that. Some of my I mean, do it. Artists. Do it. And, uh, <laughs> do sure, it. Do it, man. Sure you gonna have handlers? Yeah. You gonna have handlers? Yeah. Like, first of all, if you're a gospel artist watching this and you were on the One Love Cruise with handlers, nobody wants you here. You don't need an armor bearer yeah. on the One Love Cruise. You are not famous. You ain't no star, and you can't get away. I Stop acting it. like that. I mean, that's I what you get. You have Jesus' heart. Jesus was chilling with the people. Yeah. You want to run around and dip out the crowd? You ain't famous. I punch you in your gospel face. I'm yeah. not bitter. No, you just straight. He's just straight. He's just straight. It's overflowing. Yeah. <laughs> What's the website? Website is www.managod.com. M A N N A G O D.com. And mine is griffy2k.com. G R I F F Y, the number 2K.com. Can't beat it. Griff, John Gray, powerful brothers, right here on the Path Magazine. 2009 Radio One Love Cruise. Serve the Lord. Amen. Stay on the path.